I think it is a fair assessment that he clearly shows he doesn't have the courage and the strength that's required to do this job. What he can do is spread confusion. What he can do is get himself into the media. What he can do is create a lot of torment. What he can't do is govern and what he can't do is lead the Labor Party. I did say those things. That's an absolutely accurate transcript of my comments on Friday. I now have to deal with a reality, and the reality is that my caucus colleagues have spoken. A new Prime Minister has been appointed by the Labor caucus. So how will you feel being in the Cabinet, working for a Prime Minister who you don't think has the courage and the strength required for the job? Well, my comments on Friday were heartfelt comments. They were made in the heat of anger and frustration. He doesn't have the courage and the strength that's required to do this job. What are you going to be telling your uh, voters in the electorate of Brand about why they should vote for a Rudd government when you've described him as you have? I'll be explaining that the government of Australia is a complex business. What he can do is spread confusion. What he can do is get himself into the media. The policy agenda of Julia Gillard was the right policy agenda. That policy agenda is something that I support. I supported her. The leadership of the party has changed and I must make a practical and pragmatic decision and that's what I've done. What he can do is create a lot of torment. What he can't do is govern and what he can't do is lead the Labor Party. So your view is that Julia Gillard had the right policy agenda. She spoke last night after she was dumped as Prime Minister of the difficulties which arose from internal opposition. In your view, was Julia Gillard's Prime Ministership killed off by internal division? In other words, Kevin Rudd's campaign of destabilisation? Yes, it was. There's no doubt about that at all.